everyone. This time we will review the derivative of a given function. Please subscribe on my channel. We are now in the derivatives of a given function. Derivative and differentiation. That is here rules for differentiation, the process product, and we have here the content. So as we recall, definition of derivative, this is from the limit. So if we have a point, uh, first point M to the second point M1, so you're going to get the slope. So we have here the change. So it's just similar to the derivative of function is that the function denoted by F such that its value is a number X in the domain of F. So we have here the derivative if you look at the graph, it's the change of your change of x here from the point zero here. We have change of x and then the change of y. So here, since this is a slope, we have change of y first, change of y over change of x. So we have here f, the derivative of f with respect to dx is the limit of f and your x sub 2 here since this is a slope x sub 2 is x plus change of x minus f of x over change of x as change of x opposes to zero so we have here the x plus h minus f of x over h and this is again the change of y over the change of x Differentiation, the process of computing the derivative of a function, the operation of deriving a function from a given f. The derivative used to find the slope of a function at a point, slope of the tangent line to the graph of a function at a point, used to find the instantaneous rate of change and the limits uh, of the difference quotient as change of x opposes to zero. So we have the different notation, f of prime of x, y prime. These are all derivative notations. So the derivative of y with respect to x. So we have dy over dx, or take the derivative with respect to x. Or another uh, D, then we have small x. This is the derivative with respect to x. Or the derivative with respect to x. So we have here, uh, you may be asked to differentiate, derive, or find the right derivative. So we have power rule. The derivative of x to the power n, we have the formula n, n times x raised to the power n minus 1. n is any real number. Then the derivative of the variable x is always 1. Another, the derivative constant rule, the derivative of a constant is always 0. Constant multiple rule, we have c, a constant times the function, constant times the function x. So you transfer the constant outside and get the derivative of f of x. Sum and difference you have here f of x plus g of x, the derivative of f of x plus g of x. You just distribute the, the operation. So f prime of x plus g prime of x. Another, uh, we have an example. Find the derivative f of x equals 7. So the derivative of a constant is 0. Okay. We have here uh, y equals negative 3. So the derivative, the derivative of your y with respect to x is 0 or y prime is equal to 0. Power rule, x to the power 3. So that is 3x squared y. That is n x to the power n minus 1. Your n is 3. So 3x three to the power of 3 minus 1. That's why we have 3x squared. X to the, uh, y to, equals x to the power 9. So y prime or the derivative of y with respect to the x. With respect to x rather. So we have 9 x to the power 8. Constant multiple rule we have here. Find y equals 2x to the power 1 third. So we have 2 1 third. 
you transfer the constant outside so one third x one third minus one is negative two thirds so final answer two thirds two over if the exponent is negative it's not in simplest form you are going to transfer to the denominator so two third x power two thirds 4x squared over 5. 4x squared x. So we have, we are going to transfer the constant outside. 4 fifth, then 2x times 2x. So the answer is 8 fifths x. Okay, so function rewriting before, before you simplify. So we have here, f of x equals 5 over 2x cubed. Rewrite. Combine, so we have there uh, from the denominator, you may transfer to the numerator. So 5 halves, x to power negative 3. So it becomes 5 third, negative times negative 3 to the power x to the power negative 4. Y negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Simplify, f prime of x equals 15, oh, negative 15 over 2x power 4. From the negative exponent transfer to the denominator so that that is in simplest form. Okay, another g of x equals 7 over 3x negative power negative 2. Simplify. Okay, transfer to the numerator and then 7 third times 2x. Simplify. The derivative of g of x is 14 over 3x. Another h of x equals square root of x change to exponential form that is x to the power one half and then find the derivative one half x to the power one half minus one is one one half minus one is negative one half so we have one over two x power one half uh, j of x equals one over two times the cube root of x squared simplify first that is one over 2 change to exponential form x to the power 2 thirds okay one half x to the power negative 2 thirds 2 thirds minus 1 is negative 5 thirds so final answer 1 negative 1 over 3x power 5 thirds okay sum and difference so you're going to distribute the the operation so the derivative here is 10x plus 7 Another 4x power 6 minus 3x 5 minus 10x plus 5x plus 16. Okay, get the derivative individual function. We have 24x5, 15x4, 20x minus 20x plus 5. Okay, so we have notation f prime of x, y prime, dy over dx. Remember the derivative of a constant zero to find the f of x, so x to the power n. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and watch my other math tutorials.